Hey everybody, Patty Ann here, and I'm here to take over Auntie Tay's channel once again. And I'm so excited about it because I'm going to use Reflective Vinyl again. I love using this stuff. If you look over there, you'll see I used it for a, an adult's shirt, my friend Lily, her shirt. And I also used it for my niece's dogs to make reflective things for them so they'd be more easily seen just in case they should ever get loose. But what I'm going to do with this this time is this is for little kids. And I know a lot of you grandmas and you moms and dads are worried about your children having to get up early in the morning to go out to the bus or to walk to school when it's still dark out. So this is going to help keep them safe. We're going to make dream catchers that are going to go on the back of their shirt or their book bag or their jacket and it's going to help keep them safe. I'm going to make one for myself on the back of a blue jean jacket. So, um, oh, by the way, make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to give you some, the titles of some books that I think would be fabulous for you to read aloud to your children about dream catchers. They're a lot of fun and I think you'll enjoy them. So stick around to the end to see those. So right now, let's follow me down to my computer and get started in silhouette. Okay, first of all, there's two things I wanted you to be aware of. If you go to shopantitay.com and use the code word Patty Ann, you'll get 10% off of anything you buy. So that's the first thing I wanted you to know. I also wanted you to know that Auntie Tay has some pricing plans over there for some really cool ways that you can get involved with the products that she has over there. For example, $8 a month and you get so many perks with that, including thousands of SVGs that she makes available to you. So I just wanted to let you know that right up front. that There's good ways to save over there at AntiTay.com. So let me delete these and let's look at these, the dream catchers that I brought in. Now I was trying to think of which one would be the thickest to show the most reflective vinyl on the back of a backpack or a shirt or a jacket. And I've decided on this light blue one here. I'll make it a little darker so it's easier to see. This one I thought would really reflect well on the back. So for now, I'm going to get rid of these other ones. I'll be able to use them for something else. And I'm just going to use this one. Now the first thing I'm going to do is measure the back of my jacket to see how big I want this to be. And I might make it a little bit wider. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. So I'll get my jacket and I'll show you how I'm going to measure that. Hang on. Okay, I have my blue jean jacket here and what I'm going to do is I made sure I chose one that did not have seams down the center of it. So I'm going to measure from this seam here all the way down to this seam at the bottom. And I have a measuring tape here. Sorry, it's wrinkly. I'll fix that, of course, in my preheating session. But um, it is about from there to there, it's about 14 and a half inches. So I think I'm actually going to make my design about 11 and a half inches long. So follow me back down to my computer and let's change the sizing. Okay, here we are at my computer again, and I'm going to change the sizing, as I said, to about 11 and a half inches tall. And so that's gonna really max out my, um, mat here. So I think what I'll actually do is just come up here to where I can change the dimensions, lock the lock, I click on it, lock the lock, and I'm going to change its height to 11.25, which is 11 and a quarter inches, and hit enter on my keyboard. And that is that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here to send. Let's see if we there we go, cut. So everything is cutting out beautifully. This is going to work really well. I'm going to change it. Let me see if I do have a reflective HTV. I don't recall if I did or not. H, transfer vinyl, iridescent, reflective, yes. So I'm going to use that. And I'm going to use my ratchet blade instead of my auto blade. So I'm going to change this to ratchet blade. And I'll make sure to change the blade setting over there to a two. I will do a test first, as I always recommend. 
So let's go over there to my machine now and get that started. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is cut my piece of vinyl. I have a paper cutter here that I like to use. I'm going to cut this piece of vinyl 12 by 7 because I've determined that that's the size that I need that will fit easily my design. So I just line it up at the top here. This is really nice to use one of these. And just go like that and it's cut perfectly and I can save this for another project. So the next thing that I will do then is just get my mat out. And remember with any HTV it's always shiny side down. So I'm going to put the shiny side down on my mat. Pretty sticky mat. <laughs> Okay, perfect. And then I'm going to load this into my machine and I need to remember to change my blade setting. I think it was a three, but I'm going to go back and check that. I've changed that to a three on there. Put it down all the way down into it, pops in and then push it back. Then I'm going to load this. And then I have to go press test on my computer. So my machine just tested it. I'm going to unload it and see how well it did with my weeding tool. Okay, it looks like it did beautifully. I just have to make sure it didn't cut through the carrier sheet and it did not. It's perfect. So now I can load it back in here again. And press send on my computer. And my machine is cutting when it's finished. I'll meet you back here to weed it. Okay, I started weeding this so you won't have to watch the whole weeding process, but I did want you to get an idea of just how easy it is to weed this. Uh, let's see, I'm looking at my design to see what I'm supposed to weed out next. So it would be this circle here. Get it started. And then it will just peel away just like that. And then there are little rectangles all along here that I need to weed out. Like that. I was saying I have a super cute book or two to tell you about at the end of this video. One in particular, it's called Grandmother's Dreamcatcher, and it's really cute. And if you buy the book at the very end, it has instructions for you to be able to make a dream catcher with a child of your choice. I thought that'd be really cute. Okay, inside each one of these teardrops, there's also something. It needs to be weeded out. But you can see how easy this is to weed. This reflective vinyl weeds really easily. I really like using it a lot. <laughs> I think it's going to be super cute on the back of the blue jean jacket 
As I said, you could also have it on the back of your child's shirt or their jacket or their book bag. And I think they're really going to like having one of these on their shirt or jacket once they learn. Maybe I should take this off my mat so I don't put my hands all over my mat. There we go. And uh, once they learn what a dream, dream catcher is, they're kind of cool. So I'm looking at my design again, seeing where else I need to take anything out. And it looks like I may be done. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Okay, let's stop this and get our blue jean jacket back out and check it out. So I'm ready and now I'm going to preheat. I have my heat press set at 306 degrees and I'm going to press it for 15 seconds. This was just the preheat so I can make sure that the wrinkles are out and any moisture is out. Bring my design over and I can pull this out and make sure that I'm getting this centered. And I just kind of do everything by peeking. So that, that looks pretty well centered. Okay, so push this back in, bring the heat press over, start my timer. And this is a warm peel. looks beautiful very pretty and this is going to look super gorgeous when light from outside a headlight or whatever reflects on it okay the last thing i wanted to show you were these two terrific books that i found on dream catchers as a former teacher i always tried to find books that went along with what the kids were learning because it seemed to really just help them to learn all that much more and i think your kids would enjoy learning more about the dream catcher especially if you put something like that on the back of their backpack or on their shirt or anything like that i think they will love learning about it the one on the right, as it says in the little blurb there, does have directions in the very end on using or on making a dream catcher with your child. So I'll have a link for these down below if you'd like to purchase them through my link or hey, go to the library with your child and get them there. Again, thanks for joining me. If you like my videos, please subscribe over there at Patty Ann's Place. Um, also, go to my website, pattyantsplace.com. I have free classes listed there and free SVGs, and we have a lot of fun. So I thank you for joining me, and thank you, Annie Tay, for letting me take over your channel today. Bye, y'all.